Hello, this is Vampire here with a quick unboxing video. As you can see, uh, this is an order from Brickforge that I got recently or just today in the mail. I'm really excited about this. So this is the main package. This is the main stuff and it comes in this, uh, this nice little pack and you can see it says Brickforge on there. So let's get this stuff out and check out some of the stuff that, uh, that I got. All right, so first off, um, one of the things that I noticed right away is that this one is like this, I forgot the name for this, but it's a whip type weapon. And it is a flexible, um, soft type of plastic. So it's kind of like a rubber type material. But then there's other stuff like right here. These are the hook swords. And this is a nice translucent green. Uh, however, this is hard plastic. Had to get the hook swords because this is like classic for like, you know, Kung Fu, films and martial arts uh, type subject if you want to do with your Lego characters. Hook swords to me is like one of the ultimate uh, martial arts type weapons. Um, Alright and then this is like a, a wizard staff. This one I did not order so this is actually a, a bonus that they gave me for free which is very very nice and generous of them. Uh, same with this sword right here. This is a very cool looking sword. Uh, this is another one that I specifically did not order, so that's another bonus. Very, very sweet. Um, here is a utility belt. This is made of a softer uh, plastic once again. Looking forward to, to trying it out. Uh, this is my first experience from uh, Brickforge stuff. And then right here, this is a translucent blue size right here great for like ninjas and stuff like that and then right here we have a chain rifle basically a gears of war type very very cool and it, it came with the blood uh splattered i specifically wanted this model like this i i thought why not that's really cool and then here is speaking of blood that's what this is a very unique piece that you could actually place down on a flat surface or um you could have a minifigure Put this on their neck basically and make it look like blood is spilling out of their neck very cool uh, if you want to do horror stuff or you want to do some violent action and then this one over here i thought would be good for like zombies and stuff so same idea and then we have claws got two of them ninja claws works uh like this where that's where they grab as you can see so here's another one so it's just a black ninja claw and here's some ninja shuriken. I like how they look very different from the Lego shuriken. And I gotta say, this is way cooler. So I got two in green. And then I got two in this uh, silver color. Which is pretty standard, I guess. So just had to do that. And then over here I have the, uh, the kunai. Ninja knife. So I got two of those as well. They could be used for throwing and whatnot here are some handcuffs because I wanted to do a whole police type thing which uh, I'll show you in a second but um, alright so this is another uh, this is kinda like the utility belt but I believe this goes diagonal on the torso I call it, I think they call it a bandolier and then this broken glass bottle how cool is this so I got two of those to have a glass bottle fight. I thought that was really awesome. And then over here, we have a Kukri style. Very nice. That would work with just about any of the tactical gear type stuff. So uh, the police stuff, the reason why I got the handcuffs was for it to go with this. This is the police riot gear. And uh, this comes with um, like a SWAT vest, a helmet. SWAT type helmet and then a police type helmet, uh, riot shield, uh, baton, and uh, another uh, something kind of like this. And I also see oh a taser, very very cool taser. And then of course, I think this is pretty much if you go to Brick Forge, this is a must have. This is their centaur stuff. Um, so this one comes with the lower half of the centaur, a hair piece. A wizard staff and also a green um, short sword very very cool I, I like the packaging as you can see right there so that's one centaur and then I also got this other one this is uh, 
for girls, female centaur. So it comes with a purple translucent uh, short sword. You can probably see there. And then uh, comes with a wizard staff and then pink ponytail hair. Very, very cool. So now let's go on to the blind bag. So it comes in this. It's just all black right here. So let me um, get this one out. So blind bags to me, they're, they're just fun. The same with the Brick Warriors. I, I just have so much fun with it. It's supposed to come with 10 pieces. Uh, this one, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12. So they gave me two extra pieces. So I had two extra pieces over here. So another two. So that's a total of four extra pieces they gave me. Very, very generous. I highly recommend them. To me, that's that's uh, really, really cool that they did that. There's a translucent sword. Uh, since the, And this is going to work well with the whole police thing that I, I wanted to do. And then over here, we have very cool weapons. And nice, nice hammer. And then I, I was surprised by this. This is like a, a drill sergeant style hat. Um, a pistol that actually has some paint on there. Very cool. And over here, uh, this is a halo style helmet. Very popular right now. And then this is a very interesting helmet. Right there. Or not a helmet. It's a headpiece, should I say. And then over here, um, pipe. Very, very cool. And this piece for the waist, it's like a skirted looking piece. And then over here, we have a little, um, what is this, like, little container for potions and stuff like that. And then we have a clear mace. Very, very nice. Okay, and I got another uh, blind bag because, like I said, I really, really dig the uh the blind bags so let's count this one right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so they give me one extra piece over here once again they didn't have to do that very nice over here i get this cool looking shield it's nice and blank so you could put some uh, decals on it customize it over here is a um, nice sword we have a, a guitar piece and it's kind of interesting the back looks like that so that's, I guess, how they're going to hold it. Um, another one of these, but this time in red. Looking forward to, to trying those out. And a military-style helmet. Very nice. I like it a lot. Um, looks sweet with a camo on there. And another gla broken glass bottle. I think these are really, really cool. I, you know, Because of my channel, I, I like the improvised weapon stuff. And that, that's an awesome improvised weapon. And then this is like a spill of some sort, this, this color. I'm not sure what I would uh, come up with, but it could be mud or something. Very, very interesting. So I have to get creative with it. Here's another military style helmet. Has a spade shape on there. Very cool. Here's another helmet. This time it looks like an ancient historical soldier style helmet. And then here we have a clear gun, which is kind of interesting because it has like two areas to hold. So I thought that was pretty neat. Gotta like these these clear weapons. I'm a big fan of translucent pl plastic toys and stuff. So, so overall, I am very impressed and really, really looking forward to to trying this all this stuff out. So, thank you for watching and take care, folks.